Greetings viewers, I'm the Smithy99999 and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2, backed by Popular Demand. Uh, so, I thought this time go through a few of the features that I found out about this after I had finished the last video. And, we're going to try the challenge of creating, Mar creating the moon while hitting Earth with a Mars-like object. <clears throat> At least this starts, since it starts off with the basic solar system done. We'll just set the simulation speed to a fixed time. And go to Earth. Whee hey uh -huh. And let's start by getting... No, 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 no power. We want to shoot the body. We want to shoot Mars. Pow! Right in the kisser. Okay. Alright, so we weren't able to form a moon, but we have a whole heap of fragments now circling with the Earth. Uh, let's just increase the time and. Where did the fragments all go? Okay, so we got fragments uh, just floating around. Okay, I think we technically created a few moons, just they don't want to orbit the Earth, apparently. But yeah. That worked really well. Let's uh, move on to the other features that I didn't know about. Uh, no, not collisions. Open. Yes. Uh, tests. Uh, yeah, you've got the galaxies coll galaxy collision um, scenario. The, these two galaxies. Let's see if it's any better than the one in the original Universe Sandbox. Ah, you can see the galactic cores being uh, moved by the gravitational fo forces from each galaxy. Uh, killing the frame rate. But Ooh, look how pretty that is. Okay, it's pretty, but... Ooh, hey. Ooh, Nelly. Switch to fix, switch to fix, we're killing it! We're killing it! Ooh, yeah. Whoa! Whoa, hey! What the heck happened? Okay, I can't zoom in or out. I think I killed it. Oops. Uh, that's one of the other, and... Uh, neat things... That... Ah, supernovae. Uh... What's cool is, for one, this one, which is Supernovae. Novae. So, here we have a, well, probably a Type 2 Supernova, which is where a massive star collapses in on itself. Yeah, it collapses in on itself, reaches a state where it can't collapse any further, and uh, that causes a re rebound with the particles which are in collapse collapsing inwards, so they just get pushed outwards, which you can see here. And you can also see it enveloping our sun. Uh, this is one second per second, so this is in real time. 
man, that's pretty. So as you can see, there's a very, it's very quick at the start and then slows down apparently. Hmm. Yes. But you also have the stellar evolution of our sun itself, which is not massive enough to go supernovae. It will, in fact, as you can see here, uh, eventually expand, getting redder and redder, and Contrary to what this game apparently thinks is going to happen, it will not go pop like a balloon. It will shed the outer layers, which will have engulfed the inner planets of the solar system out to Mars, so be close to Jupiter. And <laughs> we'll look at this in the galaxy while I explain that. <laughs> uh, and leave behind its core. That disappeared really quickly. Uh, yes, and um, leave behind this core, which is known as a white dwarf. Uh, uh, as I said before, the this type of supernova, which is the core collapse supernova, is known as a type 2. There is also types 1a, 1b, and 1c supernovae. Uh, type 1 is where and hopefully future me will edit in a uh, picture of the situation which leads to a type 1a supernova which is where the um, where the um, ah, yes, where you've got a binary star system and one star which has already died and become a white dwarf uh, is close enough to a its partner star such that uh, as the out the other star dies and its uh, um, outer layers are being expand, it's expanding outwards. They get into a stage where the <coughs> the gases are uh, the outer layers are ca captured by the gravitational effects of the white dwarf uh, and uh, eventually fall in. And um, cause uh, eventually it will cause the white dwarf to gain sufficient mass that it can once again begin the fusion process, and will eventually die down at once again. But uh, it's supernova in a fashion similar to a Type Two supernova. Now a one B supernova, I believe. I will be back in one sec. <laughs> Yes, uh, type 1b and 1c are similar to type 1a, they are created the same way just with um, different spectral lines observed to 1a. But uh, another way of getting uh, supernova via white dwarfs is a theoretical way I don't think has been observed, possibly not, I'm not 100% sure on this, but if you have two white dwarfs colliding that can also cause uh, supernova. Uh, now, since I don't believe that, uh, since uh, you know, Sandbox Two doesn't doesn't have white dwarfs, as evidenced by the stellar evolution of the sun here, where it just popped like a balloon, uh, I can't show you like having two the stars. Um, uh, uh, having two white dwarfs collide, but I can show you the similar uh, sort of thing where we have two suns colliding. Which would also cause problems, but yeah, so you get something like Supernova just by having two stars colliding. Most would most, most likely be two white dwarfs rather than two uh, stars, which are in their they're still in the main sequence of the star's life star lifespan. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there's a whole heap of collisions which have been set up uh, 
for you to observe. So we got Mar Earth and Mars with offset. Which admittedly is quite cool. Okay. What would happen if the Earth collided with. Whoa, that's cool. Wolf, whatever wolf is. Look at that, look how cool that is. Uh, let's see, sun and the earth. That little tiny boom there. Jupiter and Earth. Have a look at that. We'll have a little pop mark all over. And of course, the Earth and the Moon. Uh, but you also have these choreography things, which are just basic uh, la, 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 la. patterns made by orbiting bodies. These are created by. Uh, people, fans, so, yeah. You've got, they got some really cool patterns here. I mean, just by having these moons orbit, placed in the right positions, you get these cool little patterns emerging. Uh, let's have a look at this solar systems, which have been created. <laughs> Earth and moon times five. So five moons are hitting the Earth. Two asteroids. Bowling ball and a baseball. Neptune and Neptune. That should be interesting. Ooh, Ooh the Sun and Jupiter. Let's go back to the Sun and Sun. That was cool. The moon entering a black hole. Earth entering a black hole. Actually, let's put a black hole. Let's have a look. 10 million. Oh, look at that. And as you can see, if we place the Earth here, we have a stable orbit. Black holes do not suck things in like a vacuum cleaner. Maybe you could understand this, Hollywood. That's cool. Hey, that is cool. Firing Wolf 359 into that. Earth. Sirius B. Denim. I missed. Whoa. Whoops, it ain't this. I think I killed Earth, though. Yeah, I killed Earth. Keep doing that. Let's see what happens if we fire another black hole to it. Let's see if we can get a binary system of black holes. Add. Black hole. 
Whoops. Whoa, hey. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're colliding. Let's change that turn that simulation time down. It's currently 17 seconds per second. Let's get it to real time. Close enough. One second per frame. Let's go for one second per second. 1.44 seconds per second. That's cool looking. Anyway, the link to go buy this is in the description below. I would advise, I would say it's worth the money. It is nice and fun, even though it's only an alpha stage at the moment. <clears throat> but anyway. I have been the Smithy 999999. This has been Universe Sandbox 2, and goodbye. Card wheels! Man, if toast had to cook itself, we'd, we'd be screwed. Alright, let's have a look at the Oh, there goes the plate. Who keeps a plate on the microwave?